Is it cold out there? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he put these cold boots on. Yeah, boots had snow in them. Oh goodness, that's rough. And I had to put them on. How's that heat feel on your feet? Can't hardly feel it. So what did Daddy say the actual temperature was? Something feels like two. I think he said 14. 14 feels like two. Yeah, so... Feels yeah. like below zero. <laughs> so we haven't even reached the high of 19 yet, I don't guess. No. Or will we reach it today? Yeah. I don't think we have. Mm. I hope you get warm. Well, hello. Happy January. I know it's been a long time since our last video update, so I wanted to... Um, tell you I'm sorry about that thank you for all of you guys who um, are still hanging on with us we're not real consistent with this but you know there's not a whole lot to tell not a lot has changed I do want to talk about how January has started off for us um, and I do hope that this new year has been a blessing to you been good for you um, started off well but <clears throat> for us it's just been cold and you can see all the snow that's still in the ground from the last winter storm. The winter storm is here. This is some big snowflakes. Oh, solar panels are covered and we got the generator running. Anxious to see how Starlink does today. And there's another one coming today, this afternoon. I'm actually headed out to take care of some errands before um, that happens, because I don't, I don't drive in that. Um, our driveway has actually been sort of a a mess. Um, it's been, it's complicated life a little bit. We're adjusting to that. We have to make adjustments when we can't get a vehicle up and down the driveway. So when we know a storm's coming, we park down by the creek and. Um, use our cyber side to get back and forth to uh, the vehicles. You'll see what happened here the last time we slid backwards down the driveway um, we it was scary sliding backwards with no control on ice on a steep driveway and then we hit a tree so that's what stopped us we're thankful and thankfully the truck and nobody was hurt so Bryson just dropped me off so I can let the truck warm up um, and he went back up the hill to get the rest of the family um, <coughs> this is the first I've been out for a week because uh, I've been sick but um, better now and now we have some errands to run in town and uh, here they are so he parked his truck down here at the creek so he can go come and go to work and this is how we're traveling to town today so everything is a, an adjustment and we're learning that but anyway a quick update um the main thing I want to talk about is the, the winter weather and how we're adjusting to that and uh, let you know that we haven't really done a whole lot on the property, um, as you can kind of see, but um, we we have big plans and I want to talk about the homestead plan a little bit. Um, 
but also how the Starlink is done. What I wanted to do is kind of update you on how the Starlink's doing since this is our first winter season since we've had it. Because um, we got it last spring. I think we um, set it up in either April or May. So we haven't really experienced winter with it yet. And one really cool feature um, is that it automatically melts snow off of itself. It's got like a heating element in there somehow. And it will melt the snow off of itself to avoid being obstructed. Um, but you can see there's icicles hanging off of it. And, um, and honestly, um, at this point, I'm just glad it's still on the roof because the wind has been nuts. But um, this is our second snow in, the, in a matter of like, what is it, three, three or four days, I think. And the high is 19 today. So, I'm saying that to say we had more snow the other day, but the temperatures were a little higher. Today, we don't have as much snow, but it's very, very cold. Um, the first snow that we had the other day, Starlink did not glitch at all. No breaks in service whatsoever. Today, though, in the last hour and a half, maybe two hours, it's been spotty. Now, here's, the, here's what I'm not sure about. The, um, the app says it's a network issue, so I don't know if they're working on something, and it just happens to be on a day where our weather's like this today. My mom also has Starlink, and she's right up the hill, and hers has been out today too, but there again, she's in, obviously in the same weather we have. Um, so I don't know, it could be a network issue, it could be something to do with the ice, I don't know. Um, we'll kind of keep a eye on it all day and kind of see how it's going and update you guys again at the end of the day, but um, just wanted to kind of check in and show you the snow. And here we go again, it's still coming down. The wind has been, we've been getting about 60 mile an hour wind gust. Um, it blew all night long and um, it even blew snow under our front door into the house. So that's crazy. Um, but I am happy to say that Starlink is running perfectly, even with all that, the wind and all the snow and ice. Um, so yeah, we're really pleased with that. Glad to be uh, able to test it out this way. Uh, I don't love winter storms, but at least we know that the Starlink is gonna hold, hold tight for us. I don't know how many inches we've got, but it looks like a lot to me. Um, I better get inside before the another wind gust comes in. I think it might knock me over. Um, but anyway, all the, we've got a lot of devices running and cause we, I mean, we can't really do much else. We can't go anywhere or do anything. And, um, and I haven't felt very good. I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, but I have, I have been fighting a cold for a couple days. So the boys are watching TV and I have been kind of laid around just streaming stuff on my phone. And everything's working beautiful. I gotta go inside. Last storm got us in, in certain places on the property up to 18 inches of snow. Um, other places, not as much. It kind of depended on how the, the wind was crazy. Oh my goodness, 60 mile an hour winds. I thought the house was gonna kind of fly off the mountain. But um, <clears throat> I know that sounds extreme, but it's how it felt at times. But some of the snow drifts were very, very thick. And uh, um, the Starlink has done pretty well. And just to kind of, let you know because I've mentioned before in another another video that I get very impatient when things don't progress um, and I have all these plans and ideas in my head and so far very little of that has gotten done um, so we're still working on the cabin itself there's still a lot to be done there it's not finished one one side still doesn't have the um, the uh, the new log siding put up and the um, the black stain um, we still haven't finished all the um, underpinning. We've put in um, corrugated metal underpinning. Um, only half of that's done. So lots of things getting done. And of course I am chomping at the bit to get my greenhouse built and the, the garden put in. But I know, you know there's not a whole lot you can do on frozen ground. But <clears throat> we know we have plans. It's coming together. Um, the ideas in my head are a lot bigger than what we can do at a time, especially with the fact that we're doing this debt-free. So um, Jeff has been working, he works four days a week, 
Um, so that kind of hinders things. We're not full time working on the homestead like we were when we first got here. Uh, and I've taken on some new things. I'll talk to you about that later. Um, Cause I don't really know enough about it to share it with you just yet. Not trying to be secretive. I just don't know what to tell you yet, but um, so I'm working on some new things there um, for, from, to keep me busy here also to um, help fund the homestead projects and such. So we're working on things, um, but I really wanted to just jump in and say hello. And again, like update on the Starlink and talk about the weather a little bit. And um, Northeast Tennessee has really been hit with a lot of things. Um, a lot of snow. I mean, not by things, but snow and wind. Um, but it's beautiful. It's pretty to look at. As much as I hate living in it and walking in it, driving in it, it's pretty to look at. Look at those mountains. Uh, and honestly, I will say that view has kept me going. Uh, winter can be a depressing time for me. Even back in Georgia, we didn't get any snow, but just being cold and dreary skies, um, I don't know, it just kind of kills my mood a little bit. So I'm, I'm desperate for, for springtime already. I need sunshine and green outside. So right now everything, a lot of the trees, some of the trees are green, but a lot of it looks just dead and barren. <laughs> so I need, I need something pretty to look at to keep my mood up, but, um, but we're good. We are good. And again, I hope that your new year has started off well as, as well. And so... Um, I hope this update, although it's vague and bland, I hope you realize we are still here and we're still working and we still intend to, to vlog as much as we can and let you know what's going on. And our numbers have even grown on YouTube since we've been silent for a month. So I don't know what that's about, but I appreciate it. So all of you who have subscribed, um, thank you for that. And I hope that we have some wonderful updates coming soon that we're showing some progress out here. Um, but right now, just pray that I survive all the snow. Yeah, all the snow. I'm so ready for May. <laughs> but yeah, we will check in with you guys soon. Thank you again for watching and hanging on with us.